Hello friends, my name is Jente and today we are going to spin some Dutch spotted sheep. And if this in any way, shape or form looks or sounds familiar to you, then we are now besties because that means that you have been around this channel since the very beginning. Today is the very first anniversary of the existence of my channel Mijnwolden and for that we are going to pretend that we are back in our first video but we are going to do exactly the opposite of that first video because in my first video I spun the spotted sheep fleece straight from the grease but today we are going to be decent little spinners and skirt, scour and then either comb or card that fleece what do you say about that? Let's go! Some heavenly harps please, here is our fleece. It's a very dark colored spotted sheep, not a lot of white in there, but really, really beautiful. Let's take a look at it. Oh yeah! Look at that crimp and luster. There are some VM heavy parts in this fleece, contrary to the one I uh, spun straight out of the grease. So we're going to skirt this fleece, get the worst bits out, and then we're going to wash it. Can you see all the lanolin? And that's just by dunking it in rainwater. I do hope my strawberries like a bit of lipids. And now it's just a literal case of rinse and repeat. And now it's up to the sun to do her job. Mm. My clean and dried fleece. And since I have not heard any one of you complain about me combing wool every other video or so, we're just, we're just going to do it again. You can praise yourself lucky that you can watch me do this so many times. And you'll be able to watch it even more times in the future. Color-wise, I am just going to comb both the white the brown and the black together make a lovely mixture of colors. I think that will be the most interesting. Sounds like a plan and even if it doesn't we are going to do it. Ah, uh, just kidding. You don't have to see me combing all the fluff yet again. So here we are with our finished box. I didn't comb the entire fleece because I am not that crazy of starting an entire fleece two weeks before to the fleece because of course I want to do something very different than this spotted sheep. Just about the right amount for a nice full fluffy skein, one celebratory skein of this one year anniversary. So before ados are in any way more furthered, let's get spinning. She probably doesn't need an introduction, but say hi to Rachel, my workhorse Wernicking Delft. And just like in my very first video, she is going to spin this spotted sheep. Are we ready, Rachel? Let's spin. So a year, huh? Over the past 365 days, you probably have learned a lot about me. But is there still more you want to learn? Then maybe this is a good opportunity to post some questions in the comments because we will be starting Tour de Fleece in a couple of weeks and you know, to have something to say every one of those 23 days 
maybe it's a nice idea to talk about stuff that you actually want to hear. So shoot, feel free to ask questions, suggest topics in the comment section. Another thing you can also post in the comment section is what was the first video of mine that you saw? When were you subscribed? I mean, it's crazy. I hoped that maybe at one year I would reach or get close to the 1000 mark, but I've surpassed it greatly to my great surprise and to probably everyone's great surprise, except yours, because you are always so encouraging and lovely in the comments. Thank you for believing in me. Now, when I look back on that very first video, that's so cringe. And don't get me wrong, everything else that I did after that first video was also cringe, but I'd say that's more of a semi-intentional Chaos Goblin cringe. And that first video was cringy because it was so obvious that I was not comfortable talking to the camera. I was performing this kind of persona that was a lot more cheerful than I actually am, even though I am quite bubbly and cheerful myself, but I tried to overact that. And well, 365 days have gone past and I think I am more comfortable talking to you because that's the difference right now. I think that's the main difference. For that first video, I was really just talking to a lens, to a camera. But right now, I feel like I'm talking to you because I feel like I have gotten to know some of the people that sit behind that lens, that sit behind that camera. I know I'm directly talking to people. It's a completely different feeling and just feels a lot less awkward to do. But also, isn't that just the nature of doing things for the first time? It'll be hacking cringe, especially when it's on camera. <laughs> Say hello to my little friend, our first bobbin. There is the second half of our bird's nest of fibers. Are you ready to get filled? A question that might benefit from getting an answer is, now that we are a year old, what's up for the future of this channel? And well, the answer is simple, shenanigans. <laughs> For a more in-depth answer, I'll start by saying that why, as of course I have hinted at it in the, at the beginning of this video, we will be participating in another Tour de Vlies this year. So the next coming weeks will be dedicated to just that. And then afterwards, I want to play around maybe a bit more with some bigger projects that take up more videos, like I did with my medieval cot, but then also spinning and fiber arts related projects. I think I want to experiment more with that because that also gives me more time to work on my projects. The past year I have limited myself actually on with smaller projects. Even though there were there were some, some sweater knitting projects in there, starting with hand spun as well. But trying to get them into one video sometimes was a little bit stressful, so I might spread that out. What's your opinion on those multi-part series for one project? And as you saw, I bought a four chef table loom. I will be venturing into experimenting with that new friend as well. And as always, my comment section is open to your suggestions because I am also very interested and willingly to comply to what you want to see. So tell me, and maybe I can make it reality. Well, a very chaos implemented reality that is, but <laughs> reality nonetheless. And then another future feature for this channel is something that I have had in the works ever since March, but I didn't dare to publish it because anxiety or something. 
and that is that I will be releasing a Patreon together with this channel. Um, I am saying this out loud to keep myself accountable to actually publish the thing. Um, but yes, there will be a Patreon. Um, members of the Patreon will also be able to chat with me over Discord, which I think will be very nice with Tour de Fleece coming on, so that we can compare our results, cheer each other on. What do you say about that? Link will be in the description and probably also on the community page. So if you want to be part of the Chaos Goblin tribe, you know where to find it. But let me say this, there is no pressure. I am doing this purely because I want to build a stronger connection with my community. But if you do not have the money, do not want to spend the money, do not want to be part of any of that, I will still love you just as much. You will be just a valued part of this community. You are integral to the Chaos Goblin tribe. And now for the $1 prize question. Will it barber pole? Or will these two singles combine very smoothly? For now the answer is smooth, but um, let's see how we get on. But yeah, as suspected here is some slight barber polling when we get almost true black against very light grey. I think this will make an interesting combination. I love big skins and I cannot lie. This measures around 387 meters. Which, of course, it would have been such a cool coincidence if it was 365. But here we go. Our spotted sheep skein. I don't still have a skein of the fleece I spun last year and I also do not have my party top at hand to show you the difference but I'll try visually through the magic of editing to compare these it is so totally different A beautiful rustic skein. It's not a um, close to the skin type of yarn. It's a bit itchy, even for me. But I will find a purpose for this yarn. Watch me, I will. So that was it. Our one year celebratory video skein and everything so here is to much more years much more spinning much more skeins and if you like these kind of fiber shenanigans and maybe you could like comment or subscribe but of course that is even after a year still up to you and i will see you in the next video bye